The trombone is like God's voice. It's a very brilliant sound. As it's evolved, we're now even more in the front row. We're like the solo boys. We have this huge dynamic range that most instruments do not have. I grew up playing trombone in Lexington, Kentucky. I did not come from a musical family at all, but it really clicked really fast. And I had a great band director. And then so I pursued it all the way through high school. And then I thought, hey, this could be a great career. I developed a really good sense of versatility on the instrument, which all my students hopefully can gain and become not just orchestral players and not just jazz players, but they can do everything. Okay, good. Tuba mirror. So it's really concentrate on time, full sustain on the first three bars. Every day we do fundamentals. We do Remington exercises. We work in Schlossberg books. But in the long run, fundamentals become something that's subconscious and music can always come first. So it becomes less of a process and more of just a feeling. You know, how does this particular piece at this moment affect you emotionally? And then can you portray that emotion to the audience? I play with my students a lot. The dynamic is great because I learn from them, they learn from me. I always try to teach my students to be proactive, ask questions, be articulate. If they can do all these things, it makes them a better musician, it makes them a better professional, and also better teachers in the long run because a lot of my students really enjoy the teaching aspect of trombone and for them to articulate their pedagogical ideas is very important. We have a trombone choir here at Oberlin that is fantastic. It's the most homogenous sound that I think exists. It's a little biased, <laughs> but it's a beautiful sound. We spend a lot of time on balance. We spend a lot of time on being able to play comfortably with your surroundings, how to blend, how to match articulation, how to play in time you know, how to follow a conductor, which leads into every other ensemble that they play here. It's one of the places where we can actually hone in on our specific skill set. In orchestra, a lot of the times, you know, we do sit around and count bars. In a trombone choir, you know, we're like the violins, we're always playing. Teaching at Oberlin is great. First of all, we have fantastic students, and the environment here is very advantageous for students to be proactive, to learn a plethora of genres and styles, all these ensembles to play in. I like being here a lot. I have to kind of pinch myself sometimes when I'm here. Okay.